Hi friends, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, a guide to better for you beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try out all these products and share my honest reviews over here so you have a better idea of what to buy and what not to buy. And today is another round of Britt's picks. I'm going by category and I'm talking about my absolute favorite, cleansers and masks. Skincare, we're doing it. Stick around. Here we go. Heads up before I dive in, no one could pay to get on this list. When I say you're getting my honest review, it is exactly what you're getting in a world of fake reviews and social whitelisting and all the rest of it. You will not find that here. If it's on this list, I've used it, I have bought it again, and I've recommended it to pretty much everybody I know. You'll find links and everything back on the website. Link to that will be below. Let us start with cleansers. These are short and sweet lists. The only way that they get on here is if I reach for them often and see really good performance, really like the brand. There's a lot of variables. I'm not gonna go into all that here. All the in-depth info is back on the site, but it's short and sweet. So for cleansers, I have one balm and one actual kind of gel cleanser. The balm is something that was gifted to me originally from True Botanicals. I was under no obligation to review actually, but I tried it and I was getting into cleansing balms. I've tried a few in the past. I liked them. I really like oil cleansing but I wasn't necessarily in love with my current routine until I found this balm. It is their Calm Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm. It's up there in price, but you can subscribe and save a buck, or you can use BRIT15 as promo code. I think it's still active if you want to use it. Save a few bucks, which who doesn't write about now? I really like this balm for a number of reasons. First thing being performance. It removes the makeup really well. It can be, depending on the weather, when it's warmer here, it's softer. When it's colder, it's harder, right? But it warms to the touch very easily. It is not hard though, and it is not oily. It is thick enough, like it's viscous, it sticks to the skin in a way, and you're able to work it through the skin so it's not kind of falling through or just sticking in your hands. It's really nice and rich. It's not sticky, it's rich. That's the word I wanna go with. Does it rinse off? Yes, absolutely. Do I sometimes have to double cleanse depending on the mascara? Yeah. Usually I don't have to with this. It removes makeup, not moisture. It is one of the claims on the website. A lot of other balms have this claim and I haven't found it to really ring true, but this one does a fantastic job at that. The real thing here that got me was, and I was surprised by this, I do ingredient scans over here. I'm not a cosmetic chemist in any way, shape, or form. So what works for me might not work for you. Consult an expert, a dermatologist, a medical expert, you get the drill. There is lactic acid and azelaic acid in here, which are both types of AHAs. So you're getting a chemical exfoliation and a cleansing balm, and I thought, there's no... How, how does that, that gonna work? It just works, it totally works. It is not harsh, it didn't irritate my skin, which can be sensitive. It just cleaned better. I think it really aided in the performance of this cleansing balm. And I hadn't seen much of that out there. I feel like I'm seeing more and more of it now. Just bought a second one and I'm in love with it and I highly recommend. Obviously that's why it's on the favorites list. There is a scent of turmeric and ginger. It's not sweet, it's not floral. It didn't overwhelm me, but if you're sensitive to that, keep it in mind. The second product here was completely unexpected and it came to me from the Organic Skin Co. This was also gifted and I was under no obligation to review it. As a matter of fact, I forgot about it. <laughs> it is definitely the least expensive of the two at $29.95 currently. With inflation, who knows how long that's gonna last, but the packaging here, incredibly planet friendly. Aluminum, outside and in. So they've taken from the shipping to the actual product packaging. It's an incredible company. The word organic is in the brand name for a reason. The ingredients are very thoughtful. So I've tried AHA cleansers and masks in the past. One that's popping into my mind is the Herbivore AHA Blue Tansy. It can irritate, I liked it, but it can be a little much. But this I leave on for 15 seconds. 15 seconds is all I needed, a pea size amount. It smells lovely, it's very lightweight. It does the trick, it cleanses and it resurfaces and I am crazy about it. I don't use this every day. It says it's safe to use every day. I do every other day. I just don't feel like my skin needs it. But man, it is so nice when I use it. At night, I like to use it actually. I don't really cleanse harshly in the morning. I'll use it as a cleanser at night and then I'll apply any serums or creams that I have. When I wake up in the morning and put on makeup, it goes on so well because the skin is very, very, very happy. So that's cleansers in a nutshell. There's only two because I'm pretty harsh on these things. 
there's some runner-ups and maybe I'll do a runners-up video, but those are my current favorite cleansers. I would love to know what your current favorite cleansers are in the comments below. If you have any eco-friendly options as well, I'm trying to really get better and steer the ship towards that. Now that I found cleaner options, I'm really looking at greener. So I would love to hear it. Leave it in the comments below and let's move into face masks. Also two here, and it starts with one that has been on this list since probably the beginning of the list, and it's the Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask. I love it. My skin loves it. I've recommended it to everybody in my family. Pretty much everyone in my family has either used it or bought it, or both. Not cheap, 65 bucks for this. There are more, well, I think it's still 65. So now it's $68 kind of a bummer, but three bucks. It's a very light gel type of mask. I apply this very easily to the face. It resurfaces like a champ. I don't find that I have been using my masks as much because what I just said, I have AHAs and lactic acids and things like that in my cleansers. That step might be eliminating the extra step However, I like using this mask because it has BHA in it. So it is a chemical exfoliating mask. I do have a physical exfoliant in here, but this chemical exfoliant is deeper. It penetrates deeper into the pores. So I like to use this specifically during times when it's hot outside or I'm you know, sweaty and dirt and grime because it really gets the crap out of my pores. I find this to be very gentle on my skin. I do not need to leave it on for a long time. Skin doesn't get bright red and hyper oily, which you never want to say. I really don't like squeaky skin. That's not a good sign for me and my skin barrier. So it's nice and gentle, but again, take a look at that list of ingredients because Tata Harper has been known to have some essential oils, which could potentially irritate super reactive skin types. And then the last product that I'm going to talk about in this video is a physical exfoliant. It is a mask from the company called Evolve. It's their Radiant Glow mask and it is $33, about half of the Tata Harper mask. I can do head math kind of, sometimes I need a calculator, one hour. This has been a favorite of mine. It was sent to me by Integrity Botanicals for a previous video, but I have since repurchased it on my own because I love the price point. I also like it as a gift, so here's why I like it. Physical exfoliation gets a really bad rap consult a physician, how many times can I say that? I don't mind using it on my skin. I actually like using it. I just make sure that the particles that I am exfoliating with are not beads or anything like microplastic, cause that's terrible, but also they're not really thick or chunky. I need something that's super fine. So what's used in here that I love is upcycled blueberry seeds. It's so small and tiny and I don't see any irritation. I can't see micro tears, which is the main concern a lot of people talk about. Again, it might not be suitable for all different skin types, but I don't see really any irritation after I use it. it smells like brownie batter. If you like that, yay. If you don't, pass. But it has a sweet sort of almond oil, cacao, brownie batter scent. So if you're chocolate lover friends, this is this is why it's like kind of a great gift. The other thing that I really like here is when it contacts water, it's messy. I'm not going to lie to you, it's messy. But when it comes into contact with water, it turns into sort of like a milky cleanser. So it's sort of a two-in-one in that respect. It's just a cool product and I really have enjoyed using it. And I also like that they upcycle it's in a glass container. So I've had a ton of success with all of the products that I just mentioned, but if you have favorite masks that you currently like using, leave those in the comments below as well. I would love to have other perspectives as always over here. It's really helpful. If you want to check out more mask reviews, more cleansers and skincare reviews, I will put links to playlists here. And then you can always check my entire comprehensive database. It's back on the website and it's always growing. So you can check that out. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. It really does support the channel. And I'll see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye. <laughs> the battery is gonna die. That was fast.